In this video, I turn this king size cotton sheet into this, an oilskin tarp using 100% boiled linseed oil. The first step was to measure and mark the spots where I wanted to put my tie outs. I then cut squares of canvas material. I'd use these to reinforce my tie outs. Using quarter inch double sided tape, I folded the edges of the squares over. I then used the double sided tape to hold the squares in position on the sheet while I sewed them in place. After all the reinforcements were sewed into place, I cut six strips of nylon webbing. And again, I used the double sided tape to hold the webbing in place while I sewed it. After all the tie outs were sewed into place, I poured some boiled linseed oil into a bucket and then started working it into the sheet. I continued to add boiled linseed oil until the sheet was thoroughly saturated. I then hung the sheet to dry for two to three weeks. I would like to note that it was summertime and temps were running between 80 and 90 degrees and we have fairly dry climate that may have aided in the drying process. Alright guys, so it's a little breezy out here, so I don't know how well you can hear me, but I've got the uh, tarp set up. Just did a real quick setup tonight because I'm running out of time today, but I wanted to get this thing testing. I've got a sprinkler up in the tree, and it's just simulating rain, you know, a pretty steady rain onto the tarp. Now, I've been inside it. So far, it feels completely dry on the inside. But I really want to test this thing because I want to use it for my deer season and I plan on trying to be up there for four days and if it gets rainy and bad I don't want to be four or five miles back and find out this thing starts leaking on me. So I'm actually going to leave it like this with the water running on it um, overnight and into the next part of the next day and we'll come back and check it then and see if it's still dry. All right guys, so we're underneath the tarp now. I've turned off the water. And I gotta tell you, this thing, like I said, has been out here with that rain on it, or simulated rain on it for almost a full 24 hours. 
and this thing is completely dry. So everywhere I can feel it is completely, completely dry. So I'll tell you what, that is great. So I feel really confident now that I can take this thing up with me deer hunting and uh, have a good tarp, good good side, good big tarp that I can have near a campfire. Because like I said, this this tarp is not going to be, you know, it's not fireproof, but it's definitely. Um, fire resistant and will handle embers hitting it a lot better than my sill nylon will so this is going to be great um, like I said it's 8 by 9 uh, I, I don't know what it weighs I'll have to try to get a see if I can get a weight on it but uh, I'll wait till it dries completely before I do that I'll let it just sit out here and dry but I definitely think I'm going to make another one of these. Um, I'm going to make a smaller one, something that's a little bit more packable, um, maybe out of like a twin sheet, you know, using the Egyptian cotton. Like I said, I don't know what kind of cotton this was. It was just a sheet we happened to have, an old sheet we happened to have, and all I know is it's 100% cotton, so I have no idea the thread count on this or anything, but um, yeah, it seemed to really work well. Um, but anyways, another thing that I've seen that uh, I'm watching another YouTube channel called William Collins, and I'll put a link down in the description because he's got some really good videos on on some oil skin tarps that he's done. He used mineral spirits, a 50/50 um, mixture of mineral spirits and linseed oil, which apparently dries a whole lot faster. And I hope you can hear me okay because the wind's starting to pick up a little bit, but hopefully under the tarp here that uh, you're not getting too much wind noise. But he used a 50-50 mix of oil seed, um, linseed oil and the mineral spirits. So I'm going to try that with my next one because that seemed to dry a lot faster for him than this. Like I said, I had this one out for probably three weeks, though I admit that it probably was fine after about two. It seemed like it was um, good and dry. So anyhow... I'll uh, I'll get a weight and I'll put it in the description on this once it's once it's dried off and uh, but anyways yeah so there you go I hope you guys found this video uh, informative and helpful and um, I can't wait to use this this deer season I'll see you guys later.